Hey friend, welcome to this class for long holds as part of the strength program with Neuropath Yoga. This is going to be mainly focused on the lower body and we're going to be holding standing postures as well as balance postures. And those balance postures are going to work a little bit into our core as well. But the whole idea of this is really tapping into our breath. You're really gonna have to hold on to your breath to work through these poses as we hold them for a long period of time. Please feel free to take breaks. You'll see that I take breaks sometimes too, or drop a knee or something, just straighten a leg, whatever you might need to do to work through that. But it really takes a lot of focus, a lot of staying in the moment. So this is a great practice to practice being mindful. So I'm real excited and I will see you on your mat. We're going to begin this class standing in mountain pose at the top of our mat. So you can bring your feet together or keep them about hip width apart. Finding rootedness and solid spacing. And take a breath here just to focus. And in your next breath, reach your left arm down beside you and your right arm up and over, stretching along the right side of your body. You can look up or down, whichever feels best for your neck. And then release and switch sides. And release and come back to mountain pose. And we'll take another deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And then on an inhale, reach your left leg back and drop your knee for crescent moon. Lift your arms up to the sky, stretching your hip flexor. And then if you'd like, you can bring a little twist here. So reaching back behind you with your right arm. Bring your left hand to your right knee. And come back to face forward and step all the way back up to mountain pose. And then switch sides. So your arms are extending to the sky, and then if you'd like to, you can reach back behind you and twist in the other direction. And then your next breath, turn to face forward and step all the way back up into mountain pose. We'll pause here and we'll take another deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And then your inhale, draw your left knee to your chest, grab around your shin and pull your knee towards your chest. Release and switch sides. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. And release. Finding mountain once again. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. 
And on your next breath, step your left leg back into warrior two. So your back leg, your back foot is parallel with the short edge of your mat and your front leg is still pointing towards the front of your mat. Sinking your hips down, opening your chest to the side. And we'll breathe here for a few breaths. And straighten your front leg, tilt your hips back, and reach forward and down into triangle pose. So your chest is still open to the side. You can reach your arm up to the sky, or you can bring it back behind your lower back. Your right hand can be resting on the floor, a block, your shin, or just reaching towards the floor. Bend into your knee, your front leg, and then turn your back foot to point towards the back corner of your mat so your legs are open to the long edge of your mat and sink down into goddess pose. Breathing here, pulling your core, your back should be straight and tall. And if you'd like, you can press up onto the balls of your feet and balance. Release your heels down. Turn your back foot to be parallel with the back edge of your mat again. Straighten your front leg and we're coming back into triangle. So we're reversing through these postures. And then we'll bend into our front knee, coming back into warrior two. And then step your back leg to your front leg, coming into mountain pose. Take a deep inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, releasing any tension, coming back to your breath, back to this place, and then we'll step back with our right leg into warrior two. Find your feet placement, checking that your bent knee is coming over your Point your toe. And your arms can be outstretched long, or you could bring them to your hand to your chest for a prayer pose. And breathe. And then straighten your front leg, moving into triangle, pressing your hips back, reaching forward and then down. Using your core to keep you stabilized, pressing into 
the big toe mound of your front leg, pressing into the back side of your back foot, so the edge of your foot, press that into the mat. And then straighten up and back into goddess pose. So both of your knees are going to bend, sinking your hips down in between your knees. Your toes are pointed towards the corners of the long edge of your mat. Breathing here. Pulling in your core. And if you'd like, you can add the balance coming up onto the toes. Release your heels and make your way back into triangle pose. So turning your back foot, straightening your front leg, reaching forward and down. And on your next breath, you can bend your front knee, coming back into warrior two. If your shoulders are getting tired, you may want to find prayer with your hands or bring your fists back behind your back, pressing into one another. On your next breath, you can step forward into mountain pose. And then drop your chin to your chest and roll your way down slowly into ragdoll, releasing the backs of your legs, releasing your shoulders, your, your neck. You can sway side to side. Get your hands onto the mat and step back into downward facing dog, stretching the backs of the legs, straightening and elongating the spine, taking a couple of deep inhales and exhales here.
extending your right arm up and forward. <clears throat> and wherever you are, gently release your foot and make your way into warrior three. Release your back leg back to the floor, coming into a crescent once more, reaching your arms up overhead. And then plant your hands into the mat, step back into downward facing dog. Pressing into the thumb and finger, pointer finger side of the hands. Opening the shoulders, letting the neck release. And then drop your knees onto the mat and make your way into a child's pose. Releasing tension from your shoulders, from the lower back. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Deep inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Continue breathing here. If you'd like, maybe shimmy your knees just a tiny bit wider if you can. And then release down into your child's pose even further. Taking an inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. On your next breath, shift your hips up and forward, and snaking your way into Sphinx Pose, coming onto your elbows, stretching the front side of the body. And if you'd like, you can press into your hands and straighten your arms, coming up into Seal. If this doesn't feel good for you today, just stay in Sphinx. Release from seal, come back into Sphinx Pose. And then just walk your hands back as you roll back over your heels, coming into a seated position. Extend your right leg forward, keep your left leg bent, and fold forward over your leg. Slowly make your way back up and switch sides. As you inhale and exhale, see if you can slowly melt just a tiny bit more down into your stretch. And then walk your way back up into a seat. You are going to come into cow face legs. So from a cross-legged position, bring your left knee underneath and your right knee 
working its way to be stacked on top of your left knee. And you can stay seated here, or if you like, very slowly and very gently lean forward, and you should feel a stretch in your glutes. If this doesn't feel good, simply come into a cross-legged position and lean forward. And then using your hands, gently walk yourself back up and switch the cross of your legs, either in cross-legged position or cow face leg. And you can stay seated straight up and down if you already feel a stretch in your glutes or start to gently lean forward. You can also rest your forehead on a block or on a rolled up blanket. And then slowly walk your way back up to seated and make your way onto your back. And I'm going to suggest coming into recline butterfly today for your savasana. So bring your heels and your balls of your feet together. So you're bringing your, your soles of your feet together, letting your knees flop open. And you can either bring your arms to cactus so this will open your chest it's a really nice just complete front body opener into your inner thighs your chest this is option one option two is to bring your hands together above your head this will get deeper into your shoulders Option three is to bring your hands just down along your sides for a more relaxed position. Or if you'd like to tune into your inner self, you can either bring your hands to your belly or bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. So whichever of these arm variations speaks to you today and feels good, Find your arm placement, and then we'll come into a rest. Taking one last deep inhale and exhale. And we'll find rest. Begin to deepen your breath once more. And slowly extend your legs out long, making tiny circles with your ankles and your wrists. And then slowly and gently take a full body stretch, reaching your arms above your head, pointing your toes down towards the bottom of your mat. 
and then roll your way to one of your sides and slowly press up into a seated position. I'm going to offer one last breath practice for you, complementing our long holds in our body. I'm going to take a deep inhale and hold our breath for the count of three and release, and then we'll take another breath. We'll exhale all the air out, and we'll hold our breath exhaled out for the count of three. If you do not want to take this breath practice, that's fine. Just take some deep inhales and exhales while we make our way through these breathing exercises. So we'll take a deep inhale and exhale to start. So inhale through your mouth. Exhale through your mouth. This time we'll inhale through our nose, filling our belly, filling our chest, filling our collarbones. When you feel like your breath is as full as you can go, hold your breath for the count of one, two, three, and then exhale all of it out. And then take an inhale through your mouth and exhale through your mouth. And this time we'll inhale through our nose and then exhale, pulling in our core, pressing all of the air out. And when you feel like you've had all of the air pressed out, hold for the count of one, two, three. And then inhale, fill your lungs, fill your belly, chest, and collarbones. And then exhale all of it out. We'll take one final inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, bring your palms together, pull something down from the heavens that you need in your heart, in your mind, in your life today. And then bring your hands to your forehead, reminding you to seek wisdom. Hands to your chest, reminding you to have compassion. Hands to your lips, reminding you to speak only encouraging words to others. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.